So the platforms can guess our mood, our political preferences, our income, um, not necessarily from inference and guesswork, and but more from just fact. I mean, we we allow an application to access our photos because we want to send a photo to someone, and by doing so, that application and the owners of the application can see all of the media content of our device. Um, and so it's not hard to see uh, how people are actually living. Uh, if you can also check balances um, of accounts and check volume of messages and the browser behavior and the applications that are used and the location, one can see what your mood is and what your likelihood of voting in a particular way is and what your likelihood of purchasing a particular item is. All of those things are providing our personal attributes into the surveillance capitalism machine and then enable us to be targeted uh, as, as the benefactors wish. But why the large technology landscape works like this and the business landscape works like this, what do they all want? Well, what they want is, to, is for you and your behavior to do what satisfies their shareholder return. And if what satisfies their return is you buying something, then that's the outcome that, that is required. If the outcome is for you to vote for something, then that's the outcome that's required. If the outcome is for you to change your mind about something, then that's the outcome. And so we, even when we're looking at videos online, would think that we just randomly get certain content served to us. None of that is randomized. All of this is sculptured. Your search history, if you use a, a generic well-known search engine, is A, not very much of the actual web uh, that's accessed when you search, and B, is markedly different to someone who you live across the road from, who has a different socio-demographic profile. Therefore, the access to information that we have is in, in a large part guided by the information that we have provided to the machine and the machine then provides us what the machine wants us to be provided. Um, it fuels highly targeted advertising, it fuels um, very subtle influence techniques that shape our decision and also shape our worldview. This is the way that the world is structured now and therefore it shapes our reality and if it shapes our reality then our entire life is driven by this activity. That's the world in which we live. And also, by the way, is the reason why there has to be an alternative.